the kind of um, auto, you know, poem that Ginsberg wanted to make was this kind of means of non-premeditated first thought, best thought kind of thing. And I've been thinking about that a lot with the work. That was kind of the catalyst, really, the, the, the new space and the levels at which, you know, the, the gallery is now built upon. Each room being completely different from the next. So because of that, I kind of wanted to do a survey of sorts of new work and also work that has never been seen before. All those things at the same time you're inevitably going to have each thing bleed into one another. So that's a kind of natural occurrence that, that happens. Um, and that's, that's very special to me because um, it matches my personality. It's interesting and I, I think there's something proven seeing works next to one another. You see that rich earthiness of a ceramic basin is then being reflected in the pocked mark of a, of a ceramic flower. And that, that ceramic flower, just the form of it, the basic form of it is then being reflected in a drawing. And that a line in a drawing is then being reflected in a aluminum cast sculpture. And the geometry of that aluminum cast sculpture is being thrown into a cardboard cutout from the floor of the studio, which is then being placed into a painting. That's important to me, and when you see all of the work together, it shows that the work has a lineage. Twelve years ago, or twenty years ago, to be making ceramics as a contemporary artist wasn't happening very often. But I grew up in an area that was heavily uh, influenced by craft, whether it be sewing or, or, or ceramics or woodworking. So even that has become something for me that I can identify, you know, through my youth that I've come back to either explore or to learn how to make and push into the work. To be an artist who has to title everything uh, creates a bit of a vulnerability. And I like that. For me anyway, as an artist, it's, it's kind of a responsibility to create that vulnerability uh, in one way, shape, or form. And, and that can be through titling, but that can also be through dismantling a particular medium that has a, a rich heritage in, in how it's been used in, in history. But yeah, titles, yeah, there's a vulnerability with, with putting a title out into the world and I think that's important to me.